Hello, everyone. It's Pastor Paul Krampitz. I'm coming to you from Bethany Lutheran Church on Court Street here in Cromwell, Connecticut. Welcome to another edition of From the Pastor's Study. Um, every once in a while, someone asks me about this thing, this uh, funny-looking collar that I wear. It's a, a clerical collar, and uh, some people might be wondering what the purpose of it is, what it signifies, and and how this whole thing started. Well, I'm not going to bore you with a lot of ancient history, um, other than to say that in um, ancient times, um, orators, people who were public speakers, would very often wear a cloth um, around their neck, um, which was thought to help protect their throat and to preserve their voice. Um, the practice of Wearing such a cloth became common in the church, and in fact, the uh, older style of collars with two long things coming down here called preaching bands uh, really call to mind that uh, ancient purpose um, behind that. Um, in more modern times, the collar has been stylized. Um, today, I'm wearing uh, what's called a an Anglican uh, collar. There is no black around it. There are different variations. There are different tabs. Um, this this collar is, is comfortable for me, and it's the one that I wear most often. But why do I wear it? Um, the simplest answer is that this is my uniform. You know, in uh, a lot of my adult life, I, I needed to wear some type of uniform. Uh, that was certainly true when I was a, an officer in the Army. Uh, we had actually several different uniforms. We had our battle dress uniforms. We had our Class A greens. We had our dress blues, Class Bs, all sorts of uniforms. Similarly, when I was a police officer, um, apart from the time that I spent as a detective in plain clothes, uh, when I was on patrol, I wore a uniform. And I guess you could argue that during my uh, brief time in the corporate world at uh, um, home office property security for the Aetna, um, the standard uniform uh, for someone serving in my capacity was a business suit. So this is my uniform. The collar is a symbol of my identity as an ordained pastor, as a minister in the Church of Christ. Um, I don't always wear the collar, um, but when I'm doing pastoral things, such as visiting, such as presiding at a service, when I'm doing pastoral counseling, um, I wear this as a reminder not only to me of what my role is, but as a reminder to the people that I'm around um, who I am and what function I am serving. The collar is a thing that comes as a mixed blessing. Um, some people that have had a bad experience with the church and with clergy might be turned off by it or, or put off by it. The flip side is that when I'm wearing a collar, uh, it's very often to access, it's easier rather to access uh, places like the emergency room, um, a hospital bed when I'm responding as a chaplain for the uh, local or state police, um, this easily identifies me as a pastor or as a chaplain. Um, what my dear professor of liturgy uh, during my year at Philadelphia Seminary, Gordon Lathrop, um, said this about the collar. He said, love it, but don't love it too much. What I think he meant was that we should um, remember that it's an honor and a responsibility to wear this collar. Um, it identifies a function that we serve, but at the end of the day, it is not who we are. What really counts is the person who is wearing the collar. And uh, I think that's all there is to say about that, as Forrest Gump would say. So uh, for those of you that wondered about the clerical collar, there you go. Um, and until next time, this is Pastor Paul saying goodbye and God bless.